you have this 3D printer and you want to add this 3D printer to a slicer so you can slice your own models. In this video, I'm going to add this 3D printer to my favorite slicer, Prusa Slicer. Let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. I can imagine at this point that you have printed a lot of pre-sliced models that were on the SD card or linked on the SD card to a website where you can download them and you know put them on on the printer. We uh, we are going to make a nice profile using Prusa Slicer in order to find our own models on printables, on Thingiverse, My Mini Factory, Thanks, and some other cool websites where you can find better models from the original designer and then put it into the slicer so that the STL file is translated with the correct settings for your 3D printer, because that is what we are going to do here. And then you are going to translate it into a language that the printer understands. So if you are a total beginner in 3D printing, that is the basics so that the printer understands how to print something like this, because normal STL file just on the print bed, it's not going to work. The printer doesn't know where to go. So I'm going to start Prusa Slicer and let's add this 3D printer to the Prusa Slicer. So this is Prusa Slicer. If you are not familiar with Prusa Slicer, I will put a link in the description where you can download the latest version. We are going to use Prusa Slicer 2.9.0. That is the latest version of Prusa Slicer. As you can see, we have here an original Prusa i3 MK3. Now how to add a 3D printer, or in this case, the Easy 3D K9. We are going to configuration and then we are going to configuration wizard. We click on it and then it's going to download several. You click here on yes. On the left side, we have different kind of printers. In our case, we are going to click on custom printer and we are going to click on define a custom printer. My settings, we are going to put here the name of the 3D printer. Easy 3D K9. We are, are going to click on next, put it on Marlin 2. Then next here, we are going to enter the shape from our bed. If you don't know how big your print volume is on this 3D printer, you can do two things. You can go to the website of Easy 3D K9 and then see what the print volume is of this 3D printer. So that is the length, the width and the height. It's all in millimeters. So in my case, I'm going to take the ruler and I see 120 times 120, 100. 120 times 120 times 100. We need to keep that in mind. There's also some other thing that you need to keep in mind, but we will see that a little bit later. Let's switch back to the display. Now here, the Y axis, the size is 120. That size is 120 and the origin. So that is the most front left part of the build plate. And once we enter, we have a square bed, not a rectangular bed. You can also add a texture and a model. If you want to do that, there is also a video that I made, but we are going to keep it as simple as possible. And so let's continue. We click on next, the maximum print height. Also here, we need to set that in this case, 100 millimeters. Next, the nozzle diameter of almost all 3D printers, and especially also in this case, it's 0.4. Well, in this case, it's already on 0.4. And the filament that we always use on these type of 3D printers is 1.75 millimeters. That's the thickness of the filament. Then we click on next. The extrusion temperature depends on which kind of filament you are using. Uh, we are going to use uh, PLA. PLA is most of the time 200 degrees C. And you see here also Prusa helping you out. A rule of thumb is 160 to 230 C for PLA and 215 to 250 for ABS. So in my case, I'm also putting this, this number a little bit higher because I get better print results at 205 or 210 even. It's really depending on the brand of filament. 210. And to the bed temperature. Well, it doesn't have an heated bed. The temperature, we leave the te bed temperature at zero degrees C. And it's also here. Also, eh? leave zero if you have no heated bed. So next, and we are going to add all the filament profiles in here. We are basically going to use some standard preset settings. So we click on all and then next, 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 next. And in this case, the, the view mode, I, I set it to simple. Usually I do the expert mode, but in this tutorial, as a beginner, you are just want to get this working. 
so and we click on finish so this is your build plate with the green red and blue error on the 0, 0.0 the origin now we are going to look for a model that we can put on the build plate and we are going to use the plus button here so for the example you are going to click on the plus and then you are going to select a model that you have downloaded i think it's great to start slowly and then later on build up as you go so i have this bench here so using the left mouse button you can rotate and pan the the build plate and then you can see also on the bottom side how the model will look like you can rotate it as you want and you can see all sides of this model you can uh, scroll for zooming in and zooming out and using the right mouse button you can move it left and right or up and down closer and further away if you by accident put a model on the build plate that you don't want to use then you can pre press delete on the keyboard you can press the right mouse button when over a model you can click on delete but you can also click here on the trash bin arranging if you have multiple models it will arrange so this looks all nice here on the right hand side we have the possibility to move the object on the build plate basically you can already do it like this already we have also the option to scale the model what i usually do not using this but using this here and especially if you don't have this selected for example every model that you put on a build plate is standard 100 percent you can scale it up like uh, 200 if i'm going to slice a model i usually slice it in the height because everything else will be scaled as well so in the x in the y axis and on the z height if you made a mistake you can click here on reset scale and it's back to 100 percent you can also click here on the lock to unlock it and then you say like 105 and in this case it's going to be only in the z-axis in my case then we have here the rotation and every single time here you can go with increments of 22.5 degrees or you can do it like this small steps or if you are going a little bit further away rotate it however you want and uh, not look not paying any attention in which uh, degree it would be we have the blue we have the red and we have the green place on face what does that mean well if you select that and you rotate you see all white spots those white spots are the spots that in this case our slicer says like hey this is the surface where you can put the model on well we want to have it like that so and there you go it's now flat on this surface because i have selected that and then we have here also measuring but we are not going to use that then on the right hand side we have print settings we have filament, we have printer, we have supports, infill and brim. Well, let's start with the top one. If you are looking to the print settings, it is standard on the K9. You click on, click to edit preset. And then you see here that it is highlighting print settings. In the beginner mode, that is where we are. We are at, with layout 0.3. We are going to change that in 0.2. That's a standard here. We are going to say, 25 the parameters these are for the vertical shells vertical shells are the walls from the model and if you hover with the mouse over it prusa slicer says exactly what it is you can read it for yourself you can fine tune everything but uh, we leave it on three solid layers for the top so basically this surface but also in this case it's it, it's it's a bolt so this is the top surface but also this this is also top surface I don't know if this is also considered as a top surface but every single time the outer layer from the top is the same amount of walls and uh, also for the bottom three so basically everywhere from the model it's it's three layers seam position it's something that is more advanced but uh, you will get somewhere in the print a start point and an end point so we are going to use this as an example once the printer starts when it is starting here it makes a round circle and then it stops where it started and then it goes on on the inside depends on how the slicer uh, does it but every time it takes the same point point. and if you have a bigger model like a cup you will see over the whole height you will see a line forming it's a basic thing but it happens you can also say like okay but uh, we can also do it random, okay? So we will leave it on uh, aligned. You will get a line. And uh, 
You have also the option to do a fuzzy scan. Don't touch it yet. Fuzzy scan is, is, is something you can think about in the next time. We uh, we leave it as, it as it is here. Then we are going to infill. Infill is something that is sitting on the inside of your print. Infill pattern, in this case, it's stars. The top fill patterns, monotonic. And the bottom fill patterns is monotonic. Tonic. A skirt and brim. For the Easy 3D K9, I'm going to use a brim because the more surface area it has on the printer, the better it will stick to the build plate because it's not having an heated bed. So somewhere it needs to have the maximum adhesion to get a successful print. And then we have also a uh, brim width. Here we, we can set it how big it should be out the brim only we are going to say like three millimeters and here support material depending on what you are going to slice supports are sometimes needed if you are going to slice something that has a angle it needs to have some support material i'm going to show that in a uh, example we have here some settings to play with but in this case we are going to leave it alone i see here easy to read k9 modified so we are going to save this save preset then we are going to name it normal and then 0.2 because this is going to be based upon the first layer height 0.2 okay here we have we are back to the platter easy treat k9 normal 0.2 so we are going to click on a filament so there are some template presets we are going to go for a generic pla filament we have the k9 here we can select on supports, but we are going to select none. Infill, we can lower this because it is a banshee and we have here brim selected. There is one setting that you need to think about if you are using this 3D printer. We are going to printers because we need to change the print speed and speed isn't visible here. It's nowhere visible. So what we need to do, we are going to switch over to the normal mode. Now we have here speed. And the speed for print moves is standard on 60. We are going to change that into 30. 30 is for this 3D printer, the standard speed. And also take a look to the others that are here. Everywhere where you look, where you see 60, changes into 30. But here we see small parameters, it's like 15. I don't know if that is correct, yes or no. I would say leave it. You can also put it lower. So we took from the 60, we took half of it, so 30. So this 15, we can change it to into five or maybe 10. So this is a percentage. So I leave that alone. It's a percentage. Infill, it's 80. So 60 was before. So this, we are going to change into 30 as well, instead of 40. Solid infill, we are going to change this into 10. Then top solid infill, we are going to use the same number as we use here. 10, support material. We are also going to change that into 30 bridges. Bridge is are basically two points and the, the printer is going to print in between. Okay, so it's going to print a line between this point and that point. That is a bridge. 30 and gap fill half of it 10. The travel maybe 80. Set travel zero and first layer speed is 15. 15. Oh no, 50. <laughs> That's really stretching it. This 3D printer, this 3D printer on the firmware, there are some limitations already built in. So if you are set putting that on, on like instead of print speed 60, like 600 or 6,000, I don't know if 6,000 is a thing. For example, 600, it's not going to do that. It's going to sit at the maximum that is programmed in the firmware. So I'm satisfied with this. Uh, we already had this profile. We are going to click on save and we click here on okay. If we click on the lock, it will go back to the default preset. So we are happy with that. And once everything is done, we are going to click on slice. And then you see here a little progress bar. And this is how the model will look like on the build plate. So if we scroll here, we have the brim and it are five lines. Now you can start printing this. If it turns out that it doesn't look nice at all, or it's not sticking to the build plate, you can increase it, but just look how the printer will Put down the first layers always always do that this is a benchy it's a very simple and easy print and you will already can try printing something like this and so with this benchy you can already see changes that you made if they are working yes or no it looks very complex but it isn't it is trial and error and um you learn how to tweak it by just changing it
in small steps. Not big steps, small steps. Here, the sliced info, used filament is going to be 12.40 grams. In meters, it would be 4 meters 16. There's also a uh, volume kind of thing. We are not going to touch that. Cost, well, for the filament is going to be 30 one cent the total print time in normal mode would be two hours and 25 minutes so to export it if you want to do that just the sd card take it out put it in the card reader put it in your usb so right in there and now you see here when there is a usb thumb drive in there or usb uh, drive with an with a card then it will pop up and uh, you can click on it to save it on there you will you will see this right here on your sd card you can take it off but i would say like just just click on save that's all so um i got here this notification so here this this gives a just a little warning uh before doing anything weird oh, so the this file is already on the printer uh, everything is fine so uh it's it's a template it's a starting point just like the other things as well uh, it's a starting point that is done we are going to click on eject and we are going to print the benji And so this is how the Banshee came out of the Easy Treat K9. I do, do need to say that it's not looking bad at all. I got some nice result out of it. I don't even have any stringing on this Banshee. So that is a good thing. I don't see any weird artifacts or too weird, especially for this type of printer. It's not looking bad at all. Just check it out. I'm very happy with the results that I got from the Easy Treat K9. Let's see how far that we can stretch it in a future video, shall we? The only thing that I, if I have some critics on the model, only the bottom side, it's it's not looking nice at all. But further, can't complain. And now I can finally print something that I really would like to print. Some serious stuff. Hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And uh, amazing thanks for these amazing Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. Thank you.